How's it going guys? So if you've seen my channel for a while, you know I love doing abstract motion graphics, abstract scenes like that, and doing interior scenes isn't something I've done very much at all. And that's just because I've never learned it and I've never taken time to try it out. So I thought it would be a fun video to improvise. This is totally improvised. Um, not planned and I'm just gonna take some inspiration and I'm gonna try to do some architecture modeling and we'll see how bad it gets. But before we do that, I do wanna shout out today's sponsor. This video is sponsored by Milanote, the tool for organizing your creative projects. In a recent video, I showed you how I use Milanote to compile inspiration for my 3D design projects and how that gives me the creative fuel for producing new designs every day. Milanote isn't just a tool for 3D design. It's perfect for all types of creative projects, and that's because it's been designed to match the way that creatives think. Every creative project starts with a mix of inspiration, references, and ideas. Steve Jobs once said, creativity is just connecting things. When you ask creative people how they did something, they feel a little bit guilty because they didn't really do it. They just saw something and it seems a bit obvious after a while. Creativity is about gradually turning a jumble of ideas into something new and interesting. Milanote is the workspace for everything that happens before you start actually designing something. It feels just like working on a wall of a creative studio. It can be used to create beautiful mood boards, inspiration libraries, storyboards, and more all in one place. It's the ultimate bird's eye view of your whole project. So give Milanote a try on your next project. Sign up for free using the link in the description box below. All right, we're back. So today's inspiration is this really, really nice architecture right here by Hugo. He's super cool, really great artist here. And um, so we are going to, I'm gonna be looking at that as I work on this piece. So let's go ahead and get going here in Blender 2.9.8. Zero. So we are going to be starting with a base, the the ground here. Control A, apply that scale. So the camera angle is like something like this. Now, if you watched my photorealism video, you got a bevel. So that's what we're going to do. Everything is going to have some beveling going on. Just a nice subtle bevel. Let's get in a the next cube, and he's going to be a skinny. Long boy. Now the, the goal is not to replicate it. It's mostly to take inspiration from it um, in terms of the uh, that image that I'm looking at here. Let's get another plane here. R Y 90. Oops. Must need X R. R X 90. That's going. And then he'll bring down. And then this guy he actually needs to sit up here. I can't wait to look at the comments of this video and see you guys rolling your eyes because I'm pretty sure this workflow is not indicative of a good <laughs> architecture piece. But who knows? Maybe I'm doing okay. Maybe I'm doing just fine. <laughs> we'll see. So we need to cut a hole into that, but first we need to make those stairs um, so I know where to actually cut the hole. And stairs are done with a fun little bevel trick. So, all right, so stairs, we're just gonna, first off, I do wanna apply scale, stairs. So bevel it, I want that last stair to be about that big. And then we'll go ahead and get that custom, and we'll do steps. And then we'll get the segments in there and now we have a nice set of steps, very simply made. Now let's get that arch going. So that would be another cube. Is bevel it? Let's see if I let's see if I get it. Um, we're gonna go here and we're gonna go here. Oh, look at that! I kind of did it. Beveling by hand for the win. So we'll get the boolean and we'll select our archway and then we'll hide it and please God, it worked. Yeah, boy. It worked. <laughs> All right, we got that. Uh, we need another wall going this direction. I'm gonna get another cube here. We're getting somewhere here. We're almost, we're almost done actually. <laughs> and then we'll duplicate him and bring him over 
Okay. Let's start. Let's set up our camera here. Camera and control all zero. Bam. Okay. So, what I want to do here? A lot of empty space. If I did this, is, would that be cool? Just sort of leave it. Yeah, that's cool. Let's go ahead and add our wonderful lighting here so we can do something fun. And we're going to use the sky texture here. Boom. Uh, Nishada actually looks surprisingly good in this sp particular situation. MUS, Musgrave texture. We're going to get our color ramp. Plug that there. And we're going to get the color that we want. I actually like, like kind of a blue here. Um, we're gonna go with kind of a blue here, base color, and then dimension detail. And then we're gonna bring these guys closer together. Like a, like a little family. Like a little family of color. Like that. Bump node. And then we'll use this Musgrave into the height of the bump node. And then just give it a little bit of texture. And then I'm going to hit A, Control L, Link, Materials. Everything has that material now. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so now we have this. Our lighting's like too bright. And then it's, again, extremely bright. So 0 0.5. And then in terms of our actual color coming out of the camera here. We're going to change that here, and I'm going to go with my lovely filmic log, medium contrast. We have all our detail now, so we can go back into Photoshop and edit that. So we're going to be able to handle that much better. What I want to do here is actually make like a pool and uh, just scale that. Boolean, select him, hide him, and then as a major hack major cheap way to do this. We're just going to get a plane. Most people would say do a water simulation, do something like that. No. I'm lazy <laughs> and I don't want to do that. So we're just going to get a plane and we're going to add a noise texture to a glass material. So no roughness. Transmission. We're going to get a bump node and a noise, NOI, noise texture, and then let's bring that detail up a little bit, bring that strength in, and we have a lovely pool. I'm gonna go ahead and spruce it up with a couple plants around and a couple random things. All right, let's head on into color correction. So I'm just going to use the filter and the camera raw filter because that's uh, what I like to do. No, I don't want to. OK, here we go. So I like to go here into the curves because that gives me a lot of nice control. So I don't know what's going on with this update. Hey, work. So I like to play with the curves here. So I'm just going to go in and uh, get these darks more accentuated here. And then we'll get the, uh, the lights to come up, but not too much where we lose the detail there, but we still get a nice highlight and we can still kind of go crazy with that. We can bring the highlights down some and then bring those lights back up. So we can really kind of play with that. It would be nice to get like some ambient occlusion, like ambient occlusion node going in here. I think that's where I could have, I think I kind of dropped the ball on that one. So we can do that. Then we can head over here and then bring those highlights back down, bring some contrast in, maybe bring up that vibrance a little bit. And, uh, and this is 
where we're at, I think all I want to do is just add in a little bit of vignette to this as well. And we're done. And now we have the my attempt at an interior. So there you go. That was my attempt at doing some architectural modeling. I think I did all right. I'm not entirely mad at my attempt. I know there's probably a ton of things that I didn't do very well, but I had fun. Thank you guys for watching.